We are the students of Chamawa Indian School. We represent tribes from throughout the United States. We are a family of young people. Finding our way together. We have left our homes, many with heavy hearts, for an education and to prepare ourselves to lead by example when we return. My name's Eli Rancher Bendo, and there's like a lot of pride in my name. And I come from White River, Arizona, of the uh, White Mountain Apache tribe. My name is Arnaldo Lil Featherpowski. I'm from the Wallapai tribe in Peach Springs, Arizona. My name is Mamie Mueller. I come from Washington. I am enrolled Yakima, but I'm also Colville and Grand Round. Yatashe Celeste McDonald and Shea. Hello, I'm Celeste McDonald. I'm from the Navajo Nation. Manahu, hilly hilly everybody. Um, I'm Renee Kabata. I'm 17 years old. Taute, Neko, Ne. Christian Pike Gunze. Hi, my name is Christian Pike. I am from the San Carlos Apache tribe in San Carlos, Arizona. Goetze Hopa. My name is Hilary Antonio. I'm from the Pueblo of Acoma, which is in New Mexico. My name is Jim Rodriguez. I come from the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation in South Dakota. Ani An Upchigit, Randy Harvier. My name is Randy Harvier. I am from Arizona. I live on the Hill River Indian community in District 5, Blackie. Home is like a precious jewel. It's something I value and treasure. Home is where I feel at peace. Home is my family and all the happiness they bring. Home has its hardships, but home is where I'll always return because home is where I belong. Home is family, love, People who love you, care for you, actually want you to be there. To me, it means family and friends and love, care, and hope. Family, love, um, culture, that's what home means to me. I think about the winters, I think about summers, and. I think about learning how to drive a car for the first time, and I think about laughter a lot. Family, love, um, culture, that's what home means to me. Home to me is my family and friends and um, all of the happy times we have together. I don't know, it's just home, you know, it just, it's like where your heart tells you where you're where you're at, and that's where my heart says I want to be, and that's where it says it feels right at, you know? <laughs> Eli Bento, Conte. White River, Arizona, you. Shimosh, Atosh. Shimosh, Eva Bento, Conte. Atosh, you Bento, Conte. Yeah. A shock. Home to me are my parents. Ava Bendo and Hugh Bendo the third. Home to me is White River, Arizona. Home is a place for all of my family. A place for a boy to become a man. Hunting and going to the river to get baptized in the summertime. I love my home. Well, 
well, there's quite a few sacrifices. Well, there's quite a few sacrifices. I had to leave my parents first off and my younger siblings. They mean the world to me. And my great grandma, my Gora, she's in her mid 80s and I wish it was heartbreaking to leave her. But knowing that my family was gonna be there taking care of her, um, I felt there was some comfort within me that let me know she was gonna be all right. My sacrifices were just leaving my family behind, my younger siblings with my grandparents. Leaving most of my friends and my family behind. Chilling with the rest of my relatives and I had a sacrifice leaving the reservation. I gave up, you know, having fun, swimming, being with my cousins and whatnot. You should see some of my cousins, they're not, they're not doing so great. Um, I love them like, like shit, you know? I really love them. My friends go through probably a lot more than I have, and I'm usually there to help them out, encourage them about their life. I can't be there, like, you know, for my brothers and sisters. Like, those are like my babies. Those are like, they're like my children, I guess. I'm just like really close to them, like, I guess you can call it. And I don't know, I've always been there for them. Like, even when my mom and dad left me, like, or us, I should say. I was always the one there for them. I gave up memories of my nieces when they took their first steps or when they said their first word. And then being a part or being away from family traditions, especially during sacred ceremonies, that's one thing that I, I truly miss. And I really, you know, I really would like to go back home and be a part of that. But, you know, I made that choice to come here. Home. Home, home, family, friends, elders, the children, the traditions, the land, you know what I mean. Home, home, the struggle, the violence, rape, drugs, alcohol, disease, abandonment, loss and grief we face every day. The list goes on. Home, what I know, what to do with this word that divides me. Home now is what I make of it. I will stay positive for myself, for my people, for the future generations. I will be the strong, tall pine that withstands the winds. Hangyo. I came to Chamawa to get away from the reservation for a while. I felt that if I broke away from all the negativity that was there, I'd have a better chance in succeeding in my life. I came out to Chihuahua to straighten myself up so I could at least graduate and maybe when I'm done, actually be able to spend more time with my family. It's really a big step just to be out here and being away from your family when you've been around them your whole life. And like, I'm being out here and my sister's only four months old and it's like, I'm missing out but yet, I'm doing something in order to make her life better too because I'm being a role model for her, you know? All my little brothers and sisters I'm being a role model for. Chamawa is my second home, a home filled with friends. Chamawa has a family that I love, just like my family so far away. Although I am miles and miles away from home, I will never let my memories fade away. On the res or at this school, I am loved and I am home. Pilamaya. Chamal has become a second home for me because I have staff who care for me and look after me and try to keep me out of tr trouble up here at the school. I've been here four years and I've grown to know the staff and some students that I'll be graduating with this year. And we've just grown to know each other and it just they just make everything feel welcome and they make me feel welcome here as well. You live here, you sleep here like you would at home. And all my friends feel like my brothers and sisters, even though they really aren't, but they still feel that loving and that care and that friendship you have with them and the bond that combines everybody together.
you get to learn about different people's cultures, customs, and language. And that is very, you know, that is very neat to, to experience yourself as an individual. It's exciting to know different cultures and different people, like, you know, different all over the states because it's different everywhere. Everywhere somebody has something new to show me every day. All the different cultures coming from different regions of the U.S. made me really feel at home because we're all Native American and we have a lot to share. And back home I thought I was the only one that in my position being taken away and separated from my family. There was a lot of other kids out there and we fought the same battles and we have a lot in common and the staff and everyone that teaches us and takes care of us, they're like our parents. And in a way, they're like our elders because they're teaching us new things every day, just like back at home. We're all just one big family, you know? Everybody here, like everybody connects to each other somehow, even in the littlest ways. Like, I don't know. I could call them my Chamawa family. <laughs> home is the heart of my family. Home is our sacred traditions. Home is the love we share that bonds us as one. Being home is my way of being free. Good times and bad. My home is a beautiful place where I want to be. I want to bring back to my community that shows how I am more responsible and how I have much respect for my elders and my peers and all the other different cultures here that have taught me to respect and love my elders the way I should. Things that I've learned, stories that were shared with me, and to try and show my Napo people that we're actually very grateful and for the land that we have and all that we've been put through in the past. I pray go back with a lot more courage and confidence and a lot more knowledge than what I had prior when I came here. Above all, I'll take back my knowledge. Everything that I've learned here at Shamawa, the list goes on for miles and I've learned a lot. I've learned how to be independent and be proud of myself. And there's, there's other people out there that go through the same thing as I do. And I just want people to be more aware of the traditions and become more familiar with every other tribe that's out there. That Chamao is a really great school and I think more students need to come and actually learn their traditions and see what there really is out there for them. Home is what holds my past and my future. Home is family. Home is where there is always sunshine. Home is where I learn my traditions and honor my grandparents and elders. Home is. I would say to the younger generation, don't fall for those footsteps that, that can lead to, to endangerism like um, alcohol, marijuana, smoking, suicide, um, um, just believe what's in your heart, don't ever give up. If you're going to fall, fall back on your traditions, don't ever let somebody tell you you're different or don't don't get that temptation against alcohol because it is a scary thought and for at a young age I don't think you know your ancestors would approve of that so I would just say you know whatever it is it's in your heart just keep on going. I like to let everyone know to keep up the, their traditions of their tribe know where you come from know your relatives know your ancestors, keep your tradition going, never let it die out. Home is the land where my people first took steps. Home is where my ancestors fought for the land we walk on today. It is a place of Mother Earth and nature to feel the blows of the wind.
to hear the birds chirp, to teach future generations our culture and our traditions. Home is where my heart keeps pounding. Hey.